above the river I look out over all that God has made And listen as the day starts to awaken And I thank God for things that never change I can hear So, uh, out here at the loading docks at a local grocery store Picking up for our food ministry uh, We do that every morning around 10 a.m. And had an interesting Jesus moment this morning. God is so good. And I just want I just wanted to tell you, uh, testify to how good God is and he loves his sons and his daughters. So, uh, we're inside picking up food and one of our team members from a local ministry comes in with a buddy of his and they're, they're, they're the drivers today for that, for that pickup team. And, um, they come inside and I see his name is Mark also, uh, Christopher Mark. And so Mark's walking with a cane and I uh, hadn't seen Mark in a few months. And so um, talked to him for a little bit and as we're packing food and and uh, he was telling me a story. And he said, yeah, he said, you know, I've got 10 to 12 inches of dead bone in my upper left leg and even the ball socket some of the bone is dead in that i'm going to have to go in and get surgery they're going to do a complete hip like leg bone ball socket replacement and he's saying i have to walk with his cane he said his pain was like a seven on a scale of ten to one and it's he's he's on like serious pain medication and so uh you know we're in there loading food as he's telling me the story and I said, well, you know, before you leave, let, let me pray for you because I, I, I love to pray for people. And sometimes God does amazing stuff. You never know. So <laughs> he goes, yeah, yeah, that'd be great. So we, you know, loaded up our his van and my truck and Kay's car and got all situated, checked out and came out here in the back parking lot. This is probably the like the least, uh, the, the most a weird place for you to pray for somebody and for God to heal somebody. You know, the loading docks in back of a grocery store in North Atlanta. But God is good. So uh, anyway, so I, I said, Chris, let me tell me tell me a little bit more in depth about what the docks are saying. And he did. He said, you know, they're going to have to do, you know, like cut the bone off and et cetera, et cetera. Put a new ball socket in and he's probably going to have to have surgery on the other side at some point he said because it's the same stuff is starting to happen on the right side so i said well i told him some stories about we pray for the same ministry that he's part of we pray for barry god healed barry's hand when he fell and broke his hand one time and then barry told his story to miranda who works for barry's ministry <laughs> about how god good is, how good god is and miranda said well would y'all pray for me? Cause I've just been diagnosed with cancer and I'm getting ready to share that story. It, it'll blow your mind. It's wild. So, uh, anyway, God totally healed Miranda. And so I told, and, and Mark, uh, Christopher Mark knew about both those stories. He said he'd heard about a little bit about it. So he said, yeah, pray for me, please. So we're over here, right over here next to this, uh, dumpster, <laughs> the storage bin, <laughs> A little while ago, and I just prayed in the name of Jesus, and and uh, I always ask the Holy Spirit to show me how to pray, what to pray for specifically. So sometimes He'll tell you specific things, you know, before you pray for somebody. So uh, anyway, I just heard, you know, pray for Him. So we did in the name of Jesus. Pray for us. All the muscles, ligaments, tendons, bones to be completely restored in the name of Jesus. All the pain to leave. Canceled any assignments of the enemy over him. Prayed for a fresh indwelling uh, filling of the Holy Spirit. And, you know, Jesus prayed for the blind man twice. So the first time we prayed, he was like, I said, now walk around. Don't be nice. Tell me. Tell me the truth, you know, if you still hurt. And so he was walking around. He was like, man. He said, that feels a whole lot different. 
And I said, does it still hurt? And he goes, yeah, it still hurts, but it's, it's way different than it was. I said, well, let's pray again, because Jesus prayed for his blind man twice. And I've just, and just praying for people, I've seen, you know, people receive a measure of healing every time you pray for them. Sometimes. Sometimes it's all at once. Sometimes it's, you pray and you have to contend for the healing, you know. So, um, anyway, we prayed again. And he just started weeping. Tears of joy. And he's, I said, now don't be nice. Tell me the truth. It's okay if, if, if it still hurts or whatever. And he said, uh, he said, he said, no. He said, this is just crazy. He set his cane down. And he started walking around. He said, I don't, I don't need my cane anymore. And he'd been walking with it all morning. And so, um, anyway, he said, he, he said that it was, it hadn't been this good. He's had this thing for four years. It's continually been deteriorating. And he said, this is like what it was like two years ago. He said, I, it, this is amazing. And he's on, he said, I'm not going to have to take the four pain pills that I was getting ready to get in the van and take because there's no more pain. And so I said, well, man, it's, it's Jesus. He is good. He loves to heal his sons and his daughters. He loves his kids. He said, I said, I'm just as amazed as you are when we pray. I said, I don't have, I don't have anything that anybody else does, doesn't have. He, I said, I'm just crazy enough to, to risk and pray because I know that God does stuff. And, and so he was, he was just blown away. I said, can I, I said, don't mention my name because I, I j just testify to what Jesus is doing and how good he is. And he goes, yeah, man, I'll do it. So I'm going to share that video of what happened, what his version of what happened. Hey, y'all, my name is Mark. I came uh, to do some donation stuff with a friend of mine. Um, and I literally had a broken hip roughly six to eight inches of dead bone in my left hip. I hadn't been able to lift my leg off to take my shoes off or anything, get dressed in over two years. And he prayed over me and we prayed together. And if I get my cameraman to span back a little bit, and <laughs> normally my hip would dislocate doing this and it would not come up to my chest. It would fall to the ground. That's amazing. And this is after him praying specifically, us praying together for roughly 20 minutes. I have not walked this good in two years, and it has been going on for four years, progressive bone degeneration. So God is good. God is great. That's amazing. God is good. So, so your pain, like what was the level of your pain before we prayed? Uh, on about a seven. And so, and when... After, after we prayed a couple times, what what happened? It, the pain started lessening as we prayed. I literally felt my legs quivering. I saw that, And, yeah. and then as as time has gone on, the pain was getting less and less and less to where we get to where we are now, where I did not even have to use my cane. <laughs> That's awesome. I, I don't know what to say. I don't... <laughs> Praise Jesus. <laughs> Amen. I mean, I, I never would have thought that what I'm feeling right now was possible. When I talked about it in my head, basically saying a prayer on the way from one location to the next, I got cold chills in my upper body. And to me, that was, that was affirmation from Christ of what he had done. Because what I, was, what I was praying about in my head was I was thanking him for what he had done. Right. And just got chills. <laughs> here, here I am standing on two legs with no cane. Praise God, man. That's awesome. God is so good. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing, too. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for praying with me. Absolutely. So uh, that was Christopher Mark's testimony about how good Jesus is, what he did for him. And it was just, and I, I just want to sh share this. I love sharing these stories because... We're no different than you. We're just, we're followers of Jesus. And he will use you the same way if you just risk. God shows up in the risk. That's just my experience. And you just can't care about what people think. or it, it's, not, it's not my job or your job to heal anybody. It's just our job to be obedient and 
pray for people who have needs, whether it's financial needs, physical healing needs, emotional situation, healing of families, relationships. I mean, God can do amazing things and he uses people like me and you to be the conduits, is that the right word, conduit, I think, of his faith. He chooses to use his sons and daughters just like he did with Israel. Like he would go to battle with them and he would help them with, but they had to go. You know, they had to get out there and wrestle and put on the armor and, and then he would show up. And so when you step out in faith and just be you, you don't have to be a charismatic Pentecostal wacko. You know, you, you don't, that's just, you, that stereotype is nonsensical. It, you don't have to act like that for God to use you. You just be you, you just be yourself, but you walk in the presence and power of the Holy Spirit that anointing will, God will, he'll use you. And the least likely person, little children, when they pray for people, people get healed all the time with little kids. I can tell you stories that blow your mind. So anyway, I just wanna share this testimony and encourage you, whoever you are listening to this, to pray for your children, to pray for your spouse, Pray for your neighbors, pray for your friends, pray for the the person at the cash register at Walmart or the grocery store. Whoever God puts in your path, just risk and watch God use you to bring about his purposes. So uh, I'm gonna finish out here. We've got people walking by and finish up. I gotta deliver all this food back here, Chick-fil-A and Whole Foods, heading to the mountains. I'm going to um, bring some food to a children's ministry up in North Georgia today. So I just wanted to share that story and encourage you to step out, risk, and watch God use you to do amazing things in you and through you because of Him. So have a good one. See you.